This presentation is on the secant lines, tangent lines, and finding angle measures of secant and tangent lines in a circle. The definition of a secant theorem is if two secants intersect in the interior of the circle, then the measure of an angle formed is one half the sum of the measures of the arcs intercepted by the angle and its vertical angle. Here's an example of that secant theorem. The measure of angle one equals the measure of arc AC plus the measure of arc DB times one half. And the measure of angle two is equal to the measure of arc AD plus the measure of arc BC divided by two. A proof of that theorem is right here. The measure of angle one equals the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three by the exterior angle theorem. So the measure of angle 2 is equal to 1 half the measure of arc ST. And the measure of angle 3 is equal to 1 half the measure of arc RU. And by substitution, we can say that the measure of angle 1 is equal to 1 half the measure of arc ST plus 1 half the measure of arc RU, which equals a distributive property. The measure of angle 1 equals the measure of arc ST plus the measure of arc RU times two, one half. Right. Another secant theorem is the measure of angle A e equals the measure of arc DE minus the measure of arc DC all times one half. Right. An example of this theorem is the measure of angle AXC equals the measure of arc a, B, C minus the measure of arc X, Y, Z. And by substitution, we can say that 140 minus 50 times 1 half. Okay, so 140 minus 50 equals 90, and 1 half of 90 is 45. Therefore, the measure of angle A, X, C equals 45 degrees. Another theorem is the two tangent line theorem. This theorem states that the measure of angle X equals one half the measure of arc A, B, C minus the measure of arc C, D, A. This is an example of that theorem. We know that the measure of arc C, A, H equals 205 and the measure of arc CH equals 155. And the theorem states that the measure of angle X equals the measure of angle C A H minus the measure of angle C H. If we substitute in the, the measures that we know, we get that the measure of angle X is equal to 205 minus 155 times one half. 205 minus 155 equals 50, and 1 half times 50 equals 25. Therefore, the measure of angle X is 25 degrees. Another theorem, the last theorem, is the secant tangent theorem. The measure of angle A, D, B, A, D, B, equal to 360 minus the measure of angle A, B. Since we know that the measure of angle of arc A, B is 102 degrees, uh, we can do 360 minus 102 equals 258, which equals the measure of arc A, D, B. So the measure of angle A, B, C is equal to 1 half the measure of arc A, D, B. A, D, B. Okay. So we substitute in 258. We get 1 half of 258 equals 129. Therefore, the measure of angle A, B, C is 129 degrees.